New Yorkers are never afraid to be themselves and express their style. And that's what this series is all about. Meeting real New Yorkers who I'll be sharing my tips and tricks with. Welcome to We Make Up New York. So I'm here with the gorgeous and glowing Connie Kay. Now, Connie Kay, can you please tell me and the audience a little bit about yourself? Hi, Erin. I'm so excited to be here with you. Aww. I am from Brooklyn, New York. I live in Bed-Stuy. And you know, a lot of New Yorkers, they do a lot of things at the same time. Uh, so I do screenwriting and at the same time, I do teach English in China. Oh, okay, great, cool. So it gets very hot in the summertime in New York. So I have an idea to do waterproof, heatproof makeup. <laughs> did you get all the products that we sent you? I did. They're all right here, right next to me. Let's go into the Super Stay foundation. I do have a foundation right here. It's light tan. Are you a brush, a sponge, fingertips? Like what's your favorite method? I do use a sponge, yeah. Well, what's great too with this formula is it is quite full coverage. So using the sponge is gonna shear it out just a touch. And then if you want more, you can always build it. So, so yeah, you can go ahead and start applying using your sponge. Oh yeah, the color actually, that looks like it matches your face perfectly. And I do think we'll probably add bronzer just so your body and your face match perfectly. And is this your natural tone or do you tan or do you? No, 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 I no. do not tan. Yeah. yeah, it's such a pretty golden color. I do like more natural kind of look. Well, let me tell you something today, Kanye. You might not be so natural by the end of this. Do you know who you're dealing with? <laughs> I would, I, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> So I think this is it for now. You let me know if you want me to add a little bit more. Oh, I mean, you really don't need much coverage. I think that that's stunning. Now for my eyesight, granted we are virtual, but it looks like you are pretty blemish free. So I'm thinking just a little concealer under the eyes, the Superstay concealer. I have the honey color right here. Okay, perfect. Yeah, go for it. So just a little bit, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can probably see even better than me of how much you might need, but it um, doesn't look like you have too much darkness under the eyes. So this will just give a little brightness. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. But also it won't budge, won't crease, so. I love too, like watching people do their makeup. And so you, you do your foundation with a sponge, but then go in with the fingertip. And is it just like the warmth of the fingertip you like to... To blend. Yeah, I think yeah. it's a, it's easier for me to use my fingertips for the concealer. So it's like sucks in uh, more deeply rather than I use the the sponge. Yeah, no, that's really interesting. Okay, great. So we have another super stay product and that is the powder. I want you just to take a brush and swirl through it because I don't want to give you too much more coverage, but just to take down any leftover shine, maybe on the forehead, T-zone, and you can set the concealer with that. Then maybe just brush it on. And if you okay. want more coverage, you can use the sponge. Perfect. How's it looks? Wonderful, wow. Why don't we go into eyebrows next and just frame the face before we do the eyes. So we're gonna use the Tattoo Studio Brow Gel and I believe the color you have is warm brown? Warm brown. Oh, perfect, okay. If you just take the tip and you go sort of at the top of the tube and take any excess off so you really see the fluff from the actual perfect. And when you go in, you don't have to press too hard, let it coat the hairs. Go ahead and start maybe around here, close to your arch, and then go all the way to the end, and then we'll fill in the front. Right. Perfect. And the good thing is that it, this product comes with like a little brush on the side. Now this product, when it goes on, it gives intense pigment, but you're gonna spoolie and soften through. And when you spoolie up to just exactly like you're doing, you stay within the actual brow so you don't get any product in the skin, that's looking good. Okay. Great, so I'm gonna... Yeah, and then you can just keep filling in. If you obviously, if you need more product, you can just dip back into that little bit you put in the top of the tube. Okay, great. That brow is looking perfect. I think you can do the other side. Oh, I know, yeah. Okay, cool. That looks, that's so pretty. What a great shape. Good job. We're gonna go into the eyeshadow. Grab the Color Tattoo Studio Gel Pot in VIP. Yeah, perfect. So that actually, it's quite peachy. I think you can pretty much bring it almost all the way up to the brow, but let's see, just go to the crease and let's see how the color looks. You can actually just use your fingertip too. Okay, I love using my fingertips. Great. For eyeshadows, for blush, for everything. <laughs> 
Yeah, I mean, I mean, let's see how that tone goes on. If it just creates a nice soft peachy base, we'll just add the socialite and you'll see it's a lot more shimmery and bronzy. So we'll start on the lid and then we'll go from there because I may have you dip into a brush and blend that into the crease, but I just want to see how that color goes. Wow. Isn't that nice? In here? Oh my sure. God. I love it. <laughs> I know, I mean, I love when something is simplistic and it really gives that shimmer and that gorgeous payoff. Right, because this is like, this is what I usually do. I don't want to be like too much. I think this is my favorite color so far, the second one. <laughs> this you will be putting in your favorite. daily. <laughs> I can see you wearing this all the time. I love that. Okay, great. Now, I actually, this is something that um, you sort of taught me. So I want you to teach the audience because you had mentioned to me this is how you do eyeliner and I love this trick. So let's go in with the Tattoo Studio Gel Pencil in Deep Onyx. I wanna see how you do this part because I think this is gonna be great for everyone to, to make it easier for them how they do their eyeliner. What I do is I start with the uh, eye pencil, mm -hmm. um, just not to like mess it up. And then at the end, I do the eyeliner. Okay, great. So yeah. I'm gonna just start from like bottom and again I don't want to like too much because I have like this Asian eye so I have to be very very careful mm -hmm. with eye pencil. So I think that's a great idea. Keep it thin and precise and then you can of course go in with the liquid liner. So you can yeah. still see the, um, the eyeshadow on my eyes mm -hmm. and the eyeliner. Yeah. I think you can go ahead and do the other side Thank actually. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Perfect. You're a pro. I actually love, I love using the gel pencil first to line the eyes and then I go over with liquid liner because it just for me makes it foolproof so you don't make any mistakes. You're sort of drawing and it's less sort of anxiety when you use a liquid liner. Yeah. Is this something that you feel like you're pretty much a pro at at this point in your I life? Because I practice this all the time. <laughs> this is the first thing I have to make it perfect. <laughs> yes. So. Yeah, you're doing it so quickly. It's amazing. Okay. Yep. Wow. This okay. is it. Well, honestly, you, you can go right into your liquid liner then. We have the Hyper Easy. Perfect. So a lot of times when I'm doing makeup and let's say that I'm shooting something for like the China market and there is a specific eyeliner that they tend to like and it's a little bit more pulled out just like you're doing, which I love. Mm, interesting. Yeah. And I think it really elongates the eye versus trying to fake a wing that you pull up. It's, it's really a beautiful uh, technique. There are like the Western style. There's like maybe that like e-girl or K-pop sort of look. There's our, you know, all these different styles. And I do find that in China, there's a specific uh, liner technique that it just does make the eyes look so beautiful. So I think I am done. Okay, well, you did that really quick and effortlessly. <laughs> so Thank you. We can go ahead and move into mascara and we're gonna do the Colossal and actually we're gonna use the waterproof version. Ooh. I have very straight lashes. So I do an intense curl and I always use a waterproof mascara just to keep the curl up. Do you feel the same way? I do the same thing. And now me personally, I might use five coats of this because I love lots of mascara, but let's see how far we can take it on you to the point where you feel comfortable, but I definitely want to pump up the lashes. I think the first thing that you look in the person when you see them, it's like their eyes. I mean, I think too, it, you know, it also it depends on what you're focusing. So let's, let's say if you have a red lip, I think your eyes are gonna just be drawn to the mouth first. I'll go full drag makeup and do <laughs> all everything. <laughs> but yeah, I think sort of to feel the freshness of the skin and keep the eyes soft when you're wearing a red lip, it's quite chic, so. And then if you have a small brush though, you can just throw back on that uh, socialite shadow underneath the eye. I actually like um, using eyeshadow under my eyes. Uh huh. It's like kind of reflects what's on on my eyes. Well, it's nice too, adding that little touch of shimmer under there, I think also sort of opens the eyes. Totally, mm -hmm. totally, yeah. And okay. we'll add a little highlighter later anyway. Yeah, and like a little bit up here. Yeah, exactly, yeah, you got it. it. <laughs> Great. Let's go into the City Bronzer first, and you can just take a fluffy brush, and we'll just give a little bit of extra bronze since your body's so warm. I think this color is just gonna work really good as a sort of contour, and yes, it is, wow. Because it's pretty much matched with my foundation yeah. and concealer. Like for me, it looks like the tone of your shoulder. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's so. You want me to add a little bit of? I don't think you need to because your body's warm. We're bringing、oh. your body to the face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's looking really pretty. The cheekbones already are popping. Okay, great. So let's go into Fit Me Blush. Ooh, my favorite part. And we're gonna do a powder blush in the color rose, and just give you a little bit of bloom to the skin, but not overpowering. Do you find that there are certain placements on your face that you prefer to put the blush? I do like to use it on my cheeks,、uh-huh. just like a little bit on here. It kind of gives me a little bit of like a cute use look.、Mm-hmm. Um, so I like blushes are my to go thing. Yeah,、so、just always my favorite part. All right, let's go into Master Chrome Highlighter, the Molten Peach Tone. I know that you mentioned you like to be a bit more natural, but this is a high wattage. Totally like to the moon highlight. So, so go in softly first, and then we can always add if you want. But this highlighter, it's phenomenal. Let's start just on the cheekbone. Exactly. Do you see it? Wow. Oh, it's nice. Isn't it that blends、beautiful? nicely with the blush? Yeah. Oh, I you know I put it together. And the eyeshadow, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> And do you see too? And the highlighter is just giving that gorgeous glow、Absolutely. to the skin. Now,、yeah. do you use high? Like I sometimes like a little highlighter sort of above the brow, onto, and maybe on a little bit on the nose, little. I、Cupid's. do like a little okay, bit on the nose. Okay, cute. Go for yeah, it. Yeah, just go. a little bit of sun, shine. I just want to add the Master Chrome as well, right under the brow bone, and a little on the inner corner. So if you just grab an eyeshadow brush. Ooh, nice. I mean,、right、it's. You just you're glowing. It's just so pretty. Exactly. Perfect. I love it. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> It's like a fairy tale makeup. I I <laughs> feel like you look a gorgeous ballerina with your hair up and your long neck. I just I'm loving. Thank you. <laughs> We're gonna go on to lip now. This is our final part. <laughs> so let's start with the Superstay Matte Ink in Dancer. Yes. Okay. Great. Oh my god! This is amazing color. <laughs> so cool. Yeah, it's such a pretty red because it's not your typical red. It has a lot of warmth to it, and I just love that tone against a golden skin tone like yours. I have like a hard time finding a perfect red color, but this is like, yeah, this is amazing. <laughs> So there's a special technique with this formula that works really well, and when you apply it,、um, I wouldn't rub the lips together. You can sort of blot them together, but then you can just sit, perfect it, and then allow it completely to dry, and it won't budge. Yeah. <laughs> wow. What do you think? You look stunning. I I I love it. I mean, I mean, this whole look is just like wow. Is that me? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Erin. This is fantastic. All right. I hope you all enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe to Maybelline's channel, and hope to see you next time on We Make Up New York.